Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Far More Extreme here. Here we are on Reichholf Albenfreden. This is by KA77E. It is 187.06 megabytes to download. And I say unfortunately, I say for most of them they're not too bad. Apart from one, there are a bunch of required mods. There is eight in total, so in order it is the MF3000 series by Schnibble Modding. Funny enough, the E factories by DMI. 20mm Normandy, so Dutch Modern Incorporate, so oh that's lovely. The place will power line by Top Ace 888. The biogas plant 150 kilowatt by Vertex Design. The windmill by Velort. The VDI all sheep saber by Vertex Design. The field barrier pack by Vertex Design Capsule. And lastly the Janssen Farm by Bernice. So yeah, most of them I don't have an issue with. Yeah, it's just a whole DMI Dutch Modern Incorporated mods and that. that yeah, I'm not particularly fan of, but anyway, so we are in a quaint little German area, so this is by the German North Sea coast, and this is a cracking map, it is a small map, so yeah, you usually have your 2x and it goes all the way around here, but this is like three quarters of the size almost, so I think as start off with always, we'll go over the description, and then we'll go over a new farm mode, slot counts, all that tour this beautiful map and then have some fun with some productions at the end including making some chips. The map Dykov Abenfreden, if I'm pronouncing that right, was described by the German North Sea Coast as primarily a single player map. It also can be joined by two to three players in multiplayer mode. At the heart of the map lies the beautiful farm Dykov Abenfreden, which has a long history. The farm is renowned for its extraordinary good bread. Other main traits include dairy farming, chickens, and unfarmed BGA. Case success and continue the story of Dykov Aberfreden. Farms and stalls there is a sort of farm, a dairy farm with chickens on farm, BGA windmill, and bread production. There's sheep barn with sheep pasture, pig barn with soil and barn, field barn, windmill turbine generators. All farms and stalls can be purchased and managed via farmland. And for buildings, there is the build menu is based off Elm Creek, but it has been expanded with a large selection of buildings and additional paint textures. The farms and soils are fixed in place onto the map and cannot be demolished. For your own construction proje projects there is a buildable area available as well as fields and forest plots. For sales and productions there is the windmill and BGA along with the bread production mill at the main farm. Along this there is a snack bar at the beach, Aberfriend Cinema, Agricultural Trades where it says there is one for grain reception and another one for pallet exception or reception. Lots of trades with hay barn, dairy, dairy, grain mill, rock crusher, lamb production, so that is your fries, popcorn, sunflower oil, rape seed oil, and clothes. For purchasing and loading, there is purchase stations for seeds, mineral fertilizer, lime, and water. There are 18 fields, varying from 0 0.65 to 8.2 hectares, totaling 57 hectares. There are 5 meadows, ranging from 1.3 to 4.5 hectares, in total being 14 hectares and a forestry area that is 1.5 hectares and a tip that has been given is young timers and modern machines tractors between 100 and 208 horsepower is recommended I wish you a lot of fun on Deutschhof Aberfreden so that is the mod description so first of all let's go over to PDA so small PDA as I've mentioned so yeah we've got plenty of fields we've got meadows and that on the farm mode you start off with some fields being ready to go, but yes, yeah, so I go from left to right. You got your main farm over here, so that contains your cow barn, chicken barn, and all that. If you're on new farm, we'll go over that in a bit. But starting at north, so you got your animal dealership, your hay shed, and then your snack bar by the beach. Going down, got your water fill point, and down south, you got your cinema Aberfreden, the farm machinery dealership. Debris Crusher and then that's the land train for grain acceptance and product acceptance. So that is pallets. Then moving on up, you got your dairy production and your grain mill. And then finally, you got your buy station for lime, seed, and fertilizer, which is next to your agriculture products where you can get potatoes and chips and all that other good stuff. So, with that out of the way, let's go over slot counts and new farm mode. So on Farm Manager and start from scratch, the slot count is 863. On New Farmer, the slot count is 1010. And you do start off with pretty much a lot of equipment and everything you need from tractors to subsoilers 
two front loader tools and that. So starting off with your small tractors, you got the Massive Ferguson 300 series. So you got the MF36050, or sorry, 3650, the MF3120. For your harvesters, you got the Class Dominator 108 SL Maxi. Front loaders, you got the Shafra 2630. Three trailers, including the Welkers and the Bretners. The Class C510 header. Got a horse Toronto 3FX cultivator and a 3 meter subsoiler. Along with that, you got a simple 3 meter seeder, fertilizer spreader, manure, and surrey spreaders. Just a rear mower, not a front mower. Got a tether, wind rower, a forest wagon, a bather, bell wrapper. Got two animal tanks so you can use this to transport water or milk, fertilizer, or whatever. Along with a mix wagon. Front loaders you got you got the quick one with a pallet fork and a mural fork, header trader and then a couple of weights. So if we go to our mod, so you got the Mass Ferguson 3000 series, which is a required mod. And then also where do you got the class dominator stuff? But I can't really see why this is a a new thing by KA seventy seven E. Thought it being like a required mod or something, because yeah, I handle the look and he does not do any class dominator stuff that so yeah I'm not too sure but anyways our new farm mode starting with plots 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 so this contains two fields 2, 3 and 4 and also you've got a grassland area and a main farm area so going to drone mode got a couple of little barns sheds and that see so yeah, actually let's start off with over here so well, share that contains all your masses, your traders, mowers, and all that. I can see these are all absolutely filthy and need a washing. Moving across, you got your chicken coop with nine chickens already in. And then we we'll start opening the sheds, and this is where your dominator harvester is going to be. So exit the shed. Have a little look in here. This is going to be where your forge wagon is. And then, yeah, open these other doors. This is where your front loader and your bailer and wrapper is going to be. And this does include a bell and pad storage. So we got some wheat and seeds in here ready along with some lime. Not too bad, not too shabby. So items go in here and I'm assuming they come out where? Alright, ah, just here. So not too bad. So you can load in and load out respectively. Not too bad, not too bad. Moving across, we've got your seat trigger, so this is going to be a farmhouse. You cannot enter the building, unfortunately. Over here, we've got your cow barn area. Uh, actually, no, not your cow barn. This is going to be your mill bread, sorry. Yeah, you've got your wardrobe just there. But yeah, mill bread is one of the new custom items, so having a look at the recipe requires. A little bit of tomatoes and lettuce, along with milk and flour. So it's not just flour to bread, it's basically. Oh, yeah, it's bread with cheese and salad, so that makes why. On top of this, you've got your windmill, so your windmill does your basic stuff. On top of that, does corn, sunflower, canola, soybean flour, and also has a sugar mill built into it. Base game, I think, standard greenhouse nets. And all you want to acquire most is the BGA. Come out here, this is where your greenhouse is, so trigger for that is just here. And then moving across, you've got your windrow net. And this is where your cow barn is. So yeah, feeding that goes into here. Move across. And this is going to be your mini BGA. Which you already do have three size bells ready to go. Top of that, your cultivator and your muck spreaders and that are over here. So, the items go into here, so we'll show that off in a bit. Coming out away from that, so yeah, I've got a, a bell trailer that's with a bump side clamp. So, this is where you can make your signage and that, and then directly feed it into the BGA itself. And then, I think lastly, you got your grain mill on the side of your grain mill. So, yeah, your grain mill over there. And over here is your windmill production. So you can open that up. And there we go, just here. And 
and yeah, so you got two items on, two of with throughputs and that. The base game items, they do look very similar to the base game. And then, yeah, soybeans and that, all the same as 15 to 20, was it? So, you get a bit more flour compared to oats. So, yeah, overall, not too bad, not too shabby, indeed, if I say so myself. So, yeah, I think that is the main farm covered. Farm side on that, yeah, lovely jubbly. And then, if you go into build mode, you do have some custom sheds, so... These do look very similar to, again, Sheds by Dutch Mod Incorporated, but these are not. These are part of the Janssen Farm mod. Then going across, got your silos. And then go to your silo extensions. Is there anything there? Nope, that's what I put in. To also get the money up so I can do these map tours. And under farmhouses, got your one farmhouse. Then moving on to our productions, there is a custom production on the map, and there is really no custom productions, just the ones that are as part of the core mods. Then moving on to your cell points, nothing's there. Greenhouses, nothing. Nothing under orchards now. You do have the windmill generator that gets you 36,000 a month potentially. And yes, yeah, part of the Genesis farm, you do have the custom animal pens. As well as the VDI sheep stable. And then moving on to our decorations. Once again, it's just all part of the custom mods and that. And yeah, fill barriers and that. Yeah, chances farms. And then on to landscaping. This is where there are some custom textures and details. So, yeah, got your rocks and that. Then moving along, got different kinds of gravel. Gravel, dirt. So, yeah. All unique and different. So yeah, that is that out of the way. I think let's hop into... Yeah, let's hop into our Massey here. So yeah, this is a small map, so... This won't take long to tour that, so... Right at the farm, we're going to leave the farm, and then I think what we'll do is... Sort of go around, sort of... Just a little a simple loop around, because... Again, there ain't that too much to, well, not say too much to see, but you can see a lot of the map in one go. It is a small map, but again, that ain't a bad thing necessarily, you know, so I shall go around this way. Not get myself stuck in the fill barrier, so there we go. So yeah, this is a beautiful, stunning looking map. Yeah, it is a small map. Not maybe everyone's cup of teas in that. I think I was meant to go up that way. But yeah, it may not be everyone's cup of tea, so I'm just trying to help window off a sec. Oh yeah, going up. Yeah, so I think we can come out of it this way. Actually, what I want to do is quick show off the BG in that, so. Let me just grab a Tay Andrew set, because. Yeah, again, there's a kind of BJ I don't really see that often. That's a new Supercard mod, so. It's been there for some time, but it's one of those things you. Don't really know about or notice after one. You sort of get used to, you know, the mods that you use on a normal day to day occasion. And then, yeah, when sometimes when maps come along, then bam! So let's go and use the shaper in that. Again, this is not one I don't typically use now, mainly because of the swivelness of the steering in that. Yeah, when it comes to the fine controls loading that. But it will mainly load in traders that that's where my issue is. Ooh, okay, cannot lift that. Steady on, steady. This is probably what we should have used in the first place, so... Let's go and grab these bells. Let's say grab two of them if we can. There we go, 11,000 litres. Okay, fine. One it is. Yeah, I always forget about how heavy the bells are now. And there we go, turn around. So yeah, full again, just a little quick demonstration. So, Bob's right, pull goes into there. Shit, bell off. And there we go, that bell was in, I think. Seems to be in, so I was going to have a little look. And yeah, there we go, silage is in, that's going to make 
are the electricity and digestate. Now, let's have a look. Also, you yeah, have potatoes, hay, straw, gnat. So, there is a fair section of what you can do, gnat. So, yeah, let's move on from here because it is quite a bit noisy. Ooh, farm sign there. Is that the name of the farm? Yep. So, yeah, let's hop back into here. We really should have, um, yeah, it's contracts that decent size contracts now, and you do pay out quite well actually as well. So, harvest in field one. This is this field here to the right. Eight grand for that. I say it's a fair price in that. Eight thousand to harvest this field. Yeah, I mean they'll get much from it because you know he's got wheat in that. Even though they've been killed off, but that should be dealt with earlier. But yeah, that's one of those things. Is what it is. Anyways, moving on. Oh, mind the gate. I'm assuming can you shut these? Maybe not this one in particular. So if I go back to... Yeah, oh, this is where I missed the side panel. Got side panel, just haven't plugged it in now, so... Here we are at the snack bar by the beach. So yeah, let's go and have a little moose down the beach. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Little beach huts and that. 1974. I guess, I guess that is the era and time period we're in. Sweet! Frogs! Proper nice little swampy area and that. Little playground as well. Let's go down the slide. Whee! But anyways, out of here, so when it comes to your cell points, crop counter and that looks base game to me and that. So yeah, in terms of products and that, wheat goes into pretty much most of everything, so the main cell point is the land trade is going to be. The other ones are just your production, so they will accept them. However, if you buy the production, then obviously you can't sell it into your own production you got. But yeah, overall not too bad. Oh, so have a look at your custom stuff. Popcorn, french fries and bread. So it all of them goes to... Where do you think that the best place seems to be the cinema or the snack bar? Fair enough. Prices do range a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to do that bit at the end of the map tour net. So... Oh, barrier net. Is it automatic or what? Ah, right. Literally, if I moved an inch closer. <laughs> an inch closer, that would have gone up straight away, but eh, nope. So, yeah, once again, get rid of that help menu, Nat. So, yeah, and, and your shipping app, so it's where you buy your animals and sell your bells. And then, yeah, I think we'll take the little diversion, so... What's that? 12 kilometers to Harlem Prentice. And 2 kilometers to... Ablen... Sorry... Ablen Lieben. Ablen Lieben or something like that, I'm not too sure. I'll be Aben, uh... Yeah, I do apologize, my German is very vague in pronunciation and often wrong. Then moving on to the fields, so yeah, do you have some large fields in that, and field prices, I may have forgot to go over this, most expensive one is 372 grand, but yeah, overall it's not too bad, they also it's square-ish kind of shaped fields, so they do the job very well, as well as like the landscape, the background it is absolutely beautiful, it is, like, I uh, do mean it seriously, you know, like, the map I oh, should just looked at, well, maybe in this time recording a couple of hours ago, uh, the American Arkansas one. Hey, there's a low-key map in that. But yeah, that's why that map, I've still got a 3 out of 5 in that. Maybe I was a bit too generous with my rates in that. There you go, got your farm there to the right. So yeah. 
actually. Hey, you mind? I should think you know what. Let's go across here. So, land and land and Fort Treasure vehicles only, I think. So basically, yeah, no cars or motorcycles. It's just got to be agricultural purpose only. You know? So, no, fair enough. Not too bad. Got a massive windmill over here. And you can buy this land, so 512 grand, that gets you a windmill. Now she wants to look into my finances a sec, so saw buildings, yep, 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 yep. So if we skip ahead to the next hour, do we get money coming in from that? So yeah, if we look at our finances. So income and that Okay BJ income that's nice. Yeah, property income, two hundred and eight. Do you think I was there before, right? So yeah, not too fast. Two hundred and eight an hour. So a day or month that is what? Two thousand, four thousand four hundred? So over the course of a year that is what? Forty eight fifty grand? Not too bad actually in that. But yeah, like that scenery, that background, absolute uh, beautiful on that. And again, that's why I started to use the tractor on the map tour now. Rather than zooming around at 70 miles an hour, just casually pop around about 20 miles an hour and just take in the scenery, that the beautiful views on that. So yeah, we will come back on ourselves. Oh, a little leave white area net. Park up in that. Yeah, it is a lay by that, just no entry on that way. And yeah, it is a parking lay by, so I was right about something for once, so just thought to have a look. And yeah, again, I need to do this on my map tours and that, like two already have done the same thing. No collectibles now, again, the thing I'll try to improve on is the structure of the map tours and that. But anyway, so we we'll pull off here. Head to the Mulcary and Mule. Mule? Is it Mule? I think it how it's pronounced. Again, I'm not too sure and apologize for the butchering. <laughs> I'm butchering, so. This is where you're going to have your EU factory, so your Grey Mill net. Ooh, okay. Before I can just you know, scoop by in that. So, yeah, with the EU factory, you can get your cheese bar and chocolate. Looks like a base game recipe in that. Yeah, maybe wrong in that, but that's what it at least seems to mean that. And then this is going to be rebuilt. So we eat barley, yep, yeah, basic recipes in that. And I think actually, actually looking at the production that, so yeah, I saw the wheat now, I thought yeah, it's the same, everything else is the same, but no, 6, 12, and 1200. So actually, you know what, that is a better production, so... Forget about the required mods now, productions. Just stick to using what... What we've got here at the... Was it the windmill production, I think this is? No, that's BGA. Yeah, the windmill production at. Just go ahead and use that. Forget about the EU factories. Especially while they're by Dr. DMI now, and... The reason why I was so negative with DMI now, Dutch Mining Corporation, is with the whole farm production pack now, like, how that was handled in that, just everything from, from Mr. Smith Omitana now, like, how water mods got changed now, I know she doesn't mind that, fair enough, but it's a simple amount of principle it is for me at least it is, and yeah, with the farm production pack being so broken on release, that's why I have not touched it, even when I'm coming in a position, you know, where I can buy the Farm production pack um, DLC, whatever it is. Well, it's, it's a paid mod, it's not a DLC. It's a paid mod, and yeah, I'm not touched it, and will not touch it. So anyway, so this is going to be your buy point for your fuel, not your fuel, well, your seeds and fertilizer. And over here, as perhaps tell by the thumbnail, if this is going to be part of the thumbnail, this is where you can get your French fries and popcorn. So corn from corn, popcorn from corn. Forest potatoes, fair enough. Sunflower and rapeseed oil. 
and also you can make clothes from the wool. So, from the looks at, no fabric that is required. Nice. So, go straight from wool to making clothes. Forget about you know the. Oh, I need fabric and that. Just go from wool and make your clothes. Uh, lovely jubbly. So yeah, I'll give that a little test later on. Okay, building is collision. Well, got no collisions whatsoever, so... What about this one here? Okay, this one's got collisions, just the... Sugar building. Yep. No collisions whatsoever. There's collisions with the pallet we were in at. Sign, yep, that's got collisions. Steps and the actual building itself, eh, not so much. So, yeah, towards the end of the map tour, that's right. I'll do a little segment, a little time stamp on that. But before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to finish the last part of the map tour by going down to the store. Now, so, we store, Debris Crusher, Cinema, and all that other good stuff. And, yep, yeah, once again, just taking the views, taking the scenery. Absolutely gorgeous. So, back on track where we came from. Excuse you, you play little French son of a gun. Yeah, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by those Citroen 2 CV and that. Good cars, don't get me wrong, but just the people that drive them. I.e. the French. <laughs> Anyways, as I say, before I self interrupt myself there, here we are at the vehicle shop area. Do you mind not fucking pulling out? Jeez Louise. So, how do we get down there? So, ah, so you got to go around the road in that. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, head to the ship, so. Got those one of those massive Ferguson three thousands on display. Nice. This is gonna be small point and reset point for your equipment. Vehicle workshop area is just here, you can see by the hazard mark area. Hop back in. So yeah, come out of here. Debra Crusher there to your right. And then moving out, we've got your. What's it? Another sub. Oh, yeah, your cinema, ain't this? Yeah, your cinema. So, yeah, if you go around the back, this is where your cell point's gonna be. So, drive around back, drop your popcorn and your french fries off. And actually, can we have a little look inside the cinema now? So. Wow! Ooh, awesome movie in that. Faithful Companion. Get front row seating. Just looking at the effects in that, and... They seem to be moving there a little bit on the left there. Overall, actually, yeah, that's... Oh, actually, I do like that kind of old theatre effect in that. Let's watch another film instead, shall we? Teamwork Among Friends. Nah, I don't like that movie. Boo, that sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the actual proper entrance, that. Oh, sorry, did we scare you off, sir? Ah, fair enough. So, you got our concession stand, so. Ah, I've got our movies and that. Movie 1, Wheel All of Lugan. Movie 2, Tunnel and Bench. Movie 3, is that Top Line Shraven? And yeah, I think these are some of our KA770's other maps, I think. Actually, no. Are they? Actually, no. I'll, I'll go have a look. So, Rubax at Kala, Frudin, Kalabak. Kalabak, that is an awesome map, that is, along with Frudin. And yeah, just have a look. Oh, no, actually, it's just, just. I don't know why I thought that. Top, um, nope. <laughs> so forget about that. Anyways, concession, so. Ooh, popcorn or chip french fries. Or get your, like, quesadilla breads and that, whatever. Strawberries and that. Strawberry, was that. Sauce or. Is that strawberry sauce or milkshake? 
I'm not sure. If I had to guess, milkshake? Come on, can I hop into the concession stand? Ah, no bugger, but... Hey, this is a beautiful additional feature, that. Definitely a highlight of the map tour, net. So you head out of here. And then, yeah, we head down. Can't remember what was down here again. The land trade and that. Yeah, so. To get down there. Uh, you got two options and that, so. I'm gonna go my way, first of all. Which is simply go here. And then hook a left. And then, boom, now you go. Here we are. And unlike the last map, Tornet. I didn't do a forever endo net. So yeah, let's go across. And yeah, this is gonna be your basically like your cooperative is gonna be net, so everything is well controlled in terms of access, everything is recorded in terms of weight, so you don't have to worry about you know doing any calculations and that, and then you don't have to worry about being scammed. Potentially, I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, I thought you know a bit of roleplay aspect in that. Uh, yeah, me touring around this map. I know FS25 is just 45 days away from this coming out, so it's coming out today on Saturday as of recording this. So, but yeah, a map like like maps like these and that. I have I played on these kind of maps. Maybe for a little bit of time, but nothing full, not like a hundred hours. Do I play on this map? Or any other of KA77E's maps, because they are all awesome in that, so... As a final goodbye to FS22 in that... I don't know, because yeah, i still got 10,000 cow challenge on Comstom Farm. That is going rather well, and to be honest, that's... That can be wrapped up in a couple of episodes. Also, I did say we was going to do a time lapse in that episode or that series and that, but I have not done it yet. But yeah, that can be wrapped up pretty soon. And yeah, just do like a mini series where. Just do a bit of simple, small scale grassroots farming. Simple. None of this, you know, big shabam, expansive thing, equipment and that, so. Again, I, I don't think I've done map tours on any other ka 77 es map. So yeah, maybe I have a look at this, Nat. I think I'll... To wait for him, did I do a map tour on, or... I'm not sure, I can't recall, but... Anyways, we're going to head to the production area, because before I do my final score and rating, I am going to have a little look at the productions, and that, and... See what they're all about. See what terms with, you know, what you get out of it, what do the pilots look like, and more. So, if we go into here, this is where you drop your items off. And then, yeah, first of all, let's look at the basic recipes and that. So, for popcorn, it's a uh, 3 to 2 ratio. Same with the French fries, 1200 recycles per month. So, until that would need 15, 18,000 years of corn to get 12,000 years of popcorn. So yeah, it is the same as the sunflower and canola oil. And yeah, closing that, again, that's a weird thing, like, the, the wall goes straight to closing that. I wish we had this as a standalone production mod, please, KSM70, make this available in that as its own little entity in that. I guess it's because it's two different buildings in that, that's probably why. But anyway, so let's see how it all looks like once you get your items out. So alright, here we are at our production. So also I've got the bread with the cheese and salad on the way. So this is how they look. Nice little packaging out. Says 25 kilograms a box, but overall this way 760 kilograms. So that's what, 25, 75? Yeah, I ain't gonna do the math, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, can lift these. Thousand years each. And how much are they worth, actually? That's one thing I didn't really look at, is... How much are they worth? Because, at the end of the day, if it's not worth doing, why the hell would you do it? So... 7,600, so... And that is a peak price. That's above 
so yeah, absolute peak price, even though the price are 4000 So if you look at our productions tab once again, so all that requires is just this, some mose, a bit of flour and some milk in that. So we've got that filled up, capacity is 8,000 years for milk and 5,000 years for the tomatoes and that. So I guess that's going to be the same for this and flour. But moving on, so yeah, we've got the flour mill on the way. That's got a ridiculous capacity of, what, maybe a million litres or so, give or take. Flour capacity is half a mil, and same for about sugar, I would say, if not towards a mil itself. Yeah, I think that's going to be about a mil sugar, half a mil flour. And then moving on to the popcorn, we've got some that already being produced, so output capacity is 8,000 litres, input capacity is... I'll say about 80 or so thousand a year, so not too bad overall, so... But yeah, back to, is it actually worth doing? So, flour on its own, yeah, 4,000 litres a month you're using to get 1,000 litres, so... I say sorry, <coughs> 4,000 litres for 2,000 litres, so... Actually, I say it's worth doing, because if you look at the price of flour on its own... So, go to our productions... No, don't condone on that, so we want flour... At its peak price, it's at 2000 so it's definitely worth doing the bread with cheese and that. Then moving on over here to a popcorn and that, so the pallets spawn over here. Input is over here, as you can see. So yeah, we get a fair few pallets. Once again, these cannot be lifted. we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 in spawn set and that, so... But yeah, for the ratios and that, 15 to 10... That is rather good, so once again, go to the prices, because I think, oh yeah, that's definitely worth doing, and prices do fluctuate quite a bit, our well, French fries are worth so around between September and December, but the popcorn can be sold all year round for a decent profit in that, so yeah, crack on with it, so definitely worth doing, so yeah, I'll forward to a little quick overview of the productions and that. So what I'm going to do is leave the farm, ignore the greenhouses, that's just how I had quickly set things up without, you know, getting custom mods in and that. The only thing I've really added in was the multi fruit side of that by E2 Studio. But yeah, besides, yeah, besides from that, nothing else was uh, installed, so what I'm going to do is just give you a little cheeky reset. I think it's time to wrap up this map tour. We've looked at everything, the productions, the beautiful scenery of the map. And this is a cracking map. I highly recommend this map I do. And again, I mentioned this is a map I may play as a final let's play net. But what do I think about the map? What do I rate it? Again, I recommend the map I do for everyone. In terms of rating, it's a bit of a tough one. That like is a banger of a map. And I can't really fault it, so... I've got to say it's a 5 out of 5 for what it is, there's not many, there's not no custom crops or anything like that. Just actually double check for I absolutely humiliate myself, but yeah, no custom crops and that. But yeah, it's got unique productions, but it's not overly done now, it's just a couple of productions and that. Yes, there are requiring mods and that, so maybe 4.5 because of the requiring mods and that, but actually, you know what, I think let's look at 5 out of 5, yeah, the requiring mods are sucky and that. Especially the worthless EU factories and that by DMI. Don't, yeah, so, just don't use them, please. <laughs> but that's just a me thing, personally. And that day, how things were done with DMI now in the past is what it is. So maybe I shouldn't be too harsh on them. No, yeah, possibly. But, anyways, who found this map tour helpful in the forums have in some way, shape, or form? If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, please consider but for you to do. Hope you nice day. But for now, it's me farmer and vlog stream, and I'll see you all very soon.